hello guys we've seen uh, a lot of things happening in this country and uh We've seen uh, clown in the youngsters I wonder why he was rushing to sign the the so-called uh, finance bill and yet the IBC bill has been lying on his table so we wonder why he was holding on to IBC not to be constituted and now we have reached a, a time at, in our country whereby we need a functional IBC because uh, this kind of government that we have now should go. That's what the citizens are saying. That's what everybody is saying. And so I've, I've noticed another trend in this country of which uh, um, uh, it is very, if it's not worrying to Ruto and his, his, his uh, government, I believe we should be worried because uh, I've just seen some medics are sleeping at the Afia house before Ministry of Health. This can be a trend that can continue and uh, you see what happened to Hosin Mubarak in Egypt. The people camped at Tahrir Square. They were sleeping there. They were eating there. They were bathing there. They were not going home for at least one month. And Hosin Mubarak had to terminate his presidency. 42 year rule i don't know if he ruled for 42 years or something he had to go because the people the pressure the people are not going home they were just camping there and they saying that hosin mubarak must go so whatever the medics however how small they are at the afia house when they are camping there like this it can be a trend and people can now go in millions and camp outside the state house and claim that Ruto must go. So that is what uh, the president should be worried and uh, he, I think this president does not listen because um, he will not want to betray his, his cabinet secretaries of who, whom for me I believe they are not, they are very incompetent people who cannot work for this country. And so all that being said, we hope that uh, he will uh, listen. And if he doesn't listen, I don't see if he will last for long. The president, I advise him to listen to the people, forget about his political allies, and decide to work. He still has three years to work. If he, he wants to work for the people, let him get a competent cabinet and he uh, the, he allocate to them the work that they should do constitutionally uh, so he should uh, wake up and stop thinking about himself stop, stop thinking about the luxurious life that they should live with their people like Ichungwa and uh, Dindinyoro and Didmas Barazas and this kind of these people they are increasing taxes and we see them living a lavish life and nothing is going on in this country so we are saying enough is enough and they should go so their time is up and uh, whatever the medics have done they are outside the afia center they are camping there i believe this is a, a big problem that is looming the the people now they will not be going home it will be a norm people will stay in the cbd in major cities and they will be sleeping there and uh, let me tell him that uh, the Kenyans outside the country are very enlightened and they will sponsor this uh, movement. The people will be getting food outside when they sleep outside, the food will be bought, everything will be running smoothly until this government is, is out of power. So my plea goes to the people, keep on pushing. Let us make sure that we liberate this country from the jaws of corruption from the jaws of tribalism, from the jaws of religiosity. We must liberate this country from everything so that the future generations can come and find a better place whereby they can uh, enjoy also life. We should not mess up this country because we came first before the new, the other generation that is coming after us. So we, we need to make sure that the place is okay for everybody that will come <clears throat> after we are, uh, we are gone. They will find. They should find a better country. They should find a functional country. 
they should not find a candidate that does not have an, a good education system, good health sector, and whereby there's no opportunities for all. We should find, we should leave a better country behind us. So, if you are alive, make sure that we fight for liberation of the country called Kenya, because we have just when these guys were elected, it was the it, it, it was like we have just buried Kenya. But now I'm happy that Kenya is being resurrected by the people who are fighting, who have stood for the better governorship, people who are calling upon the MPs. I, I can also say that all the MPs should not go home. They should not even be seen nearby their houses. The citizens should teach them a lesson. So let us see what is going to unfold. In case you have not subscribed to this channel, you can kindly uh, do so. And uh, let us uh, uh, just subscribe. Let, let us hit 5,000 subscribers. Let us uh, get there, guys. We are here. This channel is there to fight for the rights of the people. Nungesa Sunday is a channel, your number one channel for news, politics, analysis. And uh, we have also a website called nyongesasunday.com. This website, you can find everything there. And uh, we thank you guys for your support. Let us liberate Kenya. Aluta continue. Thank you guys.